Spencer Dam used to draw down twice a year on the Niobrara River to make room for hydropower operations in a completely full reservoir. In a few seconds here, you're going to see them open the gates. There it goes. They open the low-level gates, and it immediately pushes a rapid head cut upstream. You know, this is about 20 minutes now from opening the gates, and you'll see the head cut's going to move upstream, and then it's going to essentially bifurcate around that sand island. But what you're going to see over here in the upper right is there's another channel that's actually formed that's going off screen. The river is really attacking that bank. You've got a, a mud flat that is underlain by sand, so it's really toe failure that's failing the mud flat. But this channel up here on the upper right is going to extend and extend until you're just going to have this like small spit of sand and clay, and it's eventually going to break through with like a classic levee failure mechanism. And there it goes. And so it'll essentially fail this little levee, and now it's going to push ahead, cut up the stream, and now it's a race. It's a race between the channel on the right and the channel on the left to see who's going to capture. But the channel on the right is actually a mud flat. So even though it's attacking that bank with gusto, it's going to lose the race because it can't erode through the cohesive sediment fast enough. And so now we're going to get a Nebraska sunset and sunrise. And when we wake up in the morning, the sand channel over on the left has almost entirely captured the flow and the head cut will push up in that direction. Now we'll see a couple of intrepid scientists over here on the right taking some samples. This sediment management used to go for two weeks and you would have elevated sediment concentrations the whole time, but most of the sediment pulse was in those first few days. If you're interested in hearing more about this event, we talked to Paul Boyd about it on the River Mechanics podcast. And actually, the whole second season of the River Mechanics podcast was about reservoir sediment management. And we talked to some of the top people in the field about drawdown flushes like this, as well as the other methods for managing the sediment. You can find the podcast in the link below.